uh, we have the official Blazers over under victory total. Yes. Wonderful. It's marvelous. And it, now, was a, it was a wonderful ride last year. It was the only <laughs> thing was. worth watching with that Blazer team. Yeah, you won. You guys both won on that. Yeah. And I think they opened. Is, this says they opened at 28 and a half last year. That's yes. right. That's, we, we both had the under. I also uh, put some juice money under 25 and a half. That yeah. also cleared. Yeah. So just to explain that, all you, I mean, all you do is bet on whether or not they'll win fewer games than 28 and a half or more games than 28 and a half. Mm-hmm. And you guys bet the under because you thought they'd suck balls. Yes. Well, and we you didn't cashed. Think we knew that they yeah. would suck balls. And you they cashed. They all suck balls. <laughs> you cashed easily. Yes. Right? Didn't they, they won 22 or 23? 22. They, they were terrible. There was a brief moment there where it, it, they had started to play well, and where I was like, don't you effing. Delano dare. Banton showed up and yeah. tried to be good at basketball. Because the year before, I also had a sizable wager on the over for those people who think that I hate the Blazers. I don't. I just like gambling. And they started off red hot, and we're like, dude, this is a lock. And then they freaking tanked on me. They pulled the cord, and it just ripped my guts out. So this year's over-under Trailblazers win total is, and I want to know if you'll be betting this, 22 and a half. I can't, I can't touch that. That is awful. That is low. dangerous. That is so dangerous. That is awfully low. Now I will say I may place a small wager on this just to, just to have something, and if I am placing it, I'm taking the under. Yeah, but that is, that is far too dangerous to put any sort of significant wager. Down. It's a tough hurdle to clear. That's yeah. low, but can I make a case for the under? Absolutely, because with the Cooper flag stuff. Yep. I just think. Yeah, flags. <laughs> <laughs> More so than ever, teams like the Blazers are going to be committed to tanking. And if you're going for the, there's a player by the name of Cooper Flag who's going to be the number one pick in next year's draft. That is, you know, they're saying. I mean, I don't know about Wemby type talent. They're saying this is a generational game talent. This is game changer. Yeah. So the tanking will be yes. Uh, Across the board. A lot of teams. Hot and heavy. So it's going to be, a, in other words, if you're going to tank, you really got to do it right and you really got to commit to it. Yeah. And I think the Blazers may be one of those teams. I hope so. I hope so. Because they want to try to get Cooper Flat. Well, and, and Jeremy Grant's going to get dealt. We know that he's going to be out of there. You know that, uh, you know, Aiton will pull something. It's just, there's going to be, there's just, there's no way they put a competitive team on the floor next year. There's just no way. Chauncey will probably get fired at some point. Guys will start going down with back injuries. Simons could be shipped out of town. Look, you're right. The, the right side of this is the under. Mm-hmm. I just that is such a low total that I I can't put any sizable bet. But I may throw forty bucks down on just to have something to watch because what other, what else are you you you're watching? Well, it's how about so, this? It's so weird because you want them to lose. You do if if you are a Blazer fan. The, the 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 mission statement is to lose as many games as possible. The weird thing is, I don't know if Chance gets that mission statement because he's probably coaching for his job and he's out there thinking they can contend for a playoff spot. There's so, only one team with a lower win total. They are tied with the same win total as the Washington Wizards. Wow! And then the Charlotte Hornets are 19 and a half. Yeah, teams with the biggest decrease from last season's opening totals. Brooklyn is 18. South of where they were last year, yeah. and then Atlanta, Phoenix, and Portland are six. Yeah, Brooklyn's going to be all kinds of bad. Like that's now. Here's another bet. There's one other bet on here f- for the for the Zers for your Blazers, mm-hmm. and it is: Will the Blazers make the playoffs? <laughs> uh, no. The playoff. Well, what do you suppose you got to lay? Playoffs. Because we'll... of course we don't think they're going to make the playoffs. No, they're not going to make the playoffs. To to what do I have to lay to say that they're not going to? Dude, that's going to be a huge number. Yes. Huge number. Correct. God, you're going to be like minus. Dude, you're, you're going to have to be like minus like. Shut up. I don't know, like minus 950, minus 1,000. No, no. <laughs> no. Ha-ha. <laughs> no. Minus. <laughs> minus 10,000. <000. laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> got to lay 1,000 yeah. bucks to make 100. You got to lay 1,000. So if you laid a million dollars. You could. That's a lock, though. Yeah, they're not going to they're the playoffs. That's true. If you got a million bucks, lay it down. You'll cash a hundred thousand. The Blazers don't make the playoffs. That's the easiest one hundred thousand dollars. Like, <laughs> well, okay. So how long is the season? Five months. Eighty-two four months. games. Yeah. Well, how, how many months? 
Well, let's see. It goes so it starts, starts in, in October starts to April, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, six months. Six plus. Six to seven months. Yeah. I mean, you're not getting that kind of return on your million dollar money <laughs> anywhere else until until Are Kling you? Kong makes a he's the rookie of the year and Simons breaks out and you're making ten percent and... on your money in seven months. <laughs> Sign me up. It does. I mean, if I had it, it does seem like a lock. But you just because I don't like those big those bets like that. No, but that's one. That's one. where if you had a bunch of cash. Dude, there is no way they're going to the playoffs. And I mean no way. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. As a matter of fact, it says on here, odds indicate a 99% likelihood of missing the playoffs. <laughs> so minus 10,000, quite frankly, is great value. Because you're getting a 10% return on your yes, investment. exactly. What, what are the odds? Because I, I saw today that a popular bet that's popping up in Vegas is Brawny for Rookie of the Year. <laughs> well, didn't he have a great game the other night? I think, no. I think he scored like 11 points. <laughs> hey, that's He just good. played not awful for one yeah, night. Yeah, I don't think he sucked. <laughs> I love that that's where we set the bar. It's like, hey, he did look awful. I read and, he had a he great made, game. And he made a three. I think he had like 11 points. Dude, that's good. <laughs> that's where Dude, we're you at. will give him no credit. If he'll score 30 the next time, you'll be like, uh, that's if he scores hollow 30. <laughs> He scores. Three. There's a long way from eleven to thirty. <laughs> that dude. How sucks. many games do you think he plays in? That's a better one. I I, I listened to a analytics algorithm guy, and they they a handicapper asked him to project, and they had a number for it. I'm interested in seeing what you guess. How many games for the Lakers he plays in? Just I mean, like if he just checks in and garbage in. time, yeah. that's a game. Four. Yeah. They had it at 24. They have at tw- they think he's going to play 24 in games? 10 minutes a game. That basically he's going to get he's oh, going to get yeah. he's going to get run in all the blowouts good or bad. Dude, that dude is not playing 10 minutes a game. No, I'll take the under of that all day long. Dude, he's an embarrassment half the time in summer league. You think they're going to put him out there in NBA games? Well, the idea is that they'll put him out there when they're either down 20 or up 20 and like let him finish the game. Yeah, well, all right. Well, I don't think that's happening. So, that's why they're prognostications, I guess. Old Bronny James. Uh, by the way, yeah, we're in a stunning turn of events. Our math was off. Ten thousand minus ten thousand, you win a hundred. You have to bet ten thousand to win a hundred dollars. Ten thousand. Yes, it's minus ten thousand. So you have to bet ten thousand. So we got to bet a billion so dollars to, to we, make a hundred thousand. We have to bet ten million. <laughs> oh yeah, right. That's it. I'm not or is it a hundred? Ah, hell, I don't know. The report text slide says you guys are bad at math until you get to gambling, and even you know, even then we're bad. Yeah, that's wrong. We're also bad when it comes to gambling. How about this? I'm don't not, bet it. I'm not making that bet. All right, I'm not making the bet. Although I do kind of feel like fine, Buck. I feel like as a uh, as a show again, we need to get together and place our bet. Are Are you wanting to take the over on that? No, 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 no. I mean, I I think there's a very good chance that there are a lot of teams that could get under that. Mark because they want to be. There are going to be more tanking teams than they think right now. So I just I, think it's I, a stay away. Like I, I maybe we'll do something as it gets closer, but I, I don't like either side of that. We need a blazer bet though. I think we will. I think I'm going to lay down twenty bucks on the under just to have something to uh, something to watch. So if you win, you win twenty. Well, I'd have to. Is it see, a minus? I'd have to see what the I'd have to see what the odds are. But yeah, I think uh, the the only th- in this in this uh, draft coming up, the assignment has to be to lose as many games as possible. So, y- if you're gonna tank, this is the year you're tanking for. I'm taking it. I'm taking the under. Tell you right now, it's just gonna be a small little bet, be a fun little bet. 